How you doing, Edward Dindle? And Sarah Dindle. We're in macro mode. I gotta start the camera out on them. And I'm pushing the buttons. I'm not pushing. I start the camera out on them in macro mode because if I don't, it won't stay focused in there for some reason. This is the Somapoas Ecclesiasticus. We're gonna transfer it. Um, hopefully, without trouble. It's a very fast spider. And we'll put it right on the edge and let it walk in. Well, I see the issue now. The spider is stuck. Somehow. Okay, I just unstuck it. This is Somapos Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus. Are you getting a good view of the spider, please? Mm -hmm. No. Alright, let's get a good view of this Ecclesiasticus. Give me the word, give me the bottle so I can see the word. Don't pull that off. Come on. Here is the proper spelling Somapoas Ecclesiasticus. Say that with me, kids. Somapoas Ecclesiasticus. So that is that. It was stuck somehow on a piece of something. That's really very strange. Alright, we're going to go to the rest of these. This is the kind of top that's on this. Transferring it because of a mold issue and because it was stuck. I don't like spiders getting stuck on something. I don't even know how that's possible, but it is apparently. Sarah's over here putting labels on stuff. Alright. Um, if you can hold this for me. This right is almost fully molted out since the last video. About five minutes has passed. Can you hold this for me? Um, we're going to start with this one. Try to get a good zoom in on that one. And that, friends, is a Aquasi. <coughs> Thrixapelma. I think it's a Thrixapelma, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thrixapelma Aquati. That black thing is going to get stuck in the lid right here. This thing. Alright, All right, this is a Thrixipoma Aqua Key. I am told they get as big as a um, Key Sturmy or Blondie. I don't know. I've never seen an adult <coughs> person, but we will find out. And that one is fresh. You're, look where you're filming at. That one is, has just molted not too long ago. I want to get the abdomen, or we can see the abdomen, that purple, and all that stuff on there. Look at that heart on the abdomen, people. Alright, that, the camera's not showing up like I'm seeing what I'm seeing in person. It's, the camera don't do it justice. But that is the Thrixipelma Ocrity. We're going to feed it another roach as well. They can eat that. I'm going to give it another one it can catch the. We'll just scoop it up when it moves. That's an absolutely beautiful creature. I don't care who you are. It'll get it. It's very purpley. It's got browns purple, purplish abdomen that leads into a beige a and then it's got black spots and that little uh, fork pattern. It's got a uh, greenish brown carapace, bluish black legs, <coughs> long hair. When it gets older it'll be black legs with a pink. That's awesome. Black. We're gonna you know, stay tuned for the whole journey. The reason we're doing these is because a part of the showcase series that we started up a long time ago where you, you can see the different types of tarantula. This one is an Aphonopelma or Aphnopelma moderatum. Very pricey spider, but a uh, very amazing animal too. If you like Aphnopelmas, and there's so many different ones I can't help but love them all. Let's see if this is on there. 
and that is usually a sign that it's not hungry at all or it's dead, but I know it's not dead because I've seen it moving earlier. It is in pre-mold, I would say. Yeah, you see that spider it is alive and well. I'm going to up the humidity just a tad bit. They don't need a lot of humidity. I'm going to kill them. But that is the Aphonicoma moderatum. Okay, there you go. Let's see. It's fine. Can't believe you guys that. Look at that. Arcity. Look at the Arcity. Doing a webbing. Give me this a minute. I'm going to hand you some of these to put over there. Look at that. Right there. People. I'm going to put them over there out of the way on this one. I'm done with that one. Um, we got some bad news. Also, my Pac-Man frog has died and been covered with flies. The last time he was alive was the last video that we've seen. And that frog came to me at four years old, and we kept it for four years, so that's an eight-year eight-year frog. I don't know how long they're supposed to live, but that was my last Pac-Man frog. Which really sucks. Oh, here's an O species blue penny. Really sucks on the Pac-Man frog, but y'all deserve to know what happens because a lot of my fans are Pac-Man frog fans, and I'm, I will always love Pac-Man frogs. But that was the last of our collection of Pac-Man frogs. We still have Cubans and Pixie and bullfrogs, American bullfrogs, but that's about it. This is the O species blue penne. I think that that's how you say it. Penne. We're gonna try to get a hit for you guys. Or get it to come out of here if we can. Maybe tease it out of here. If at all possible. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming, friends. Stay tuned. Don't blink. You will miss it. Don't miss it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost missed it because I can't see what I was filming. That is the O Species Blue Pan A. P A N A Y. Too cool, right? You gotta let them look at 11 it. And it's going fast as it was in our life. Here we have a C species, Haiti Haiti, or Haiti Haiti, however you say it. Well, look at that whole thing trying to come up. The whole thing trying to come up. Let's see if we can tease this thing out. I see a back leg way over there in that corner. Put a little drop of water in here, and we'll go to the next. Let's get this over here. What is this right here? Here's an Indian blue dwarf, Sarah. That would be Nathan. This is a Sahydro Ari Era Nus Era Nus Sahydro Era Nus Raja. So this That's a, one what is a name. named Nathan. Okay. That's Where is a this one? fan of ours. Where is it? Hold on, no. I didn't lose it, did I? No, you didn't lose it. It's, um... Oh, it's got a little hole right here. It's a dwarf, so it's right here. There's a hole right there. Let's see if we can get a little bitty bug and put it in there. Watch the, watch the container so I don't lose it. Oh, I see it. I see its butt right there at the tip of the tweezers. Try to do off the tongue thing with him. Whoops. There Water it is. Bowl. Yeah, see it. I'm going to drop this in here. 
And I'm going to close this because if we don't, we're going to lose this thing. It's a very small, very fast, flighty, and almost clear spider, so it can blend in with anything. And we got a Hepatra Poultry piece. We have two of these, don't we? Mm -hmm. This is a Hepatra Poultry piece. Wow, this is a golden blue leg baboon. Absolutely amazing. Look at this. Here is a mold. You see this? This is what happens if you leave a bolus in something too long. Or sometimes that'll happen anyway. So you don't want to do that. Um, try not to leave bolus in things. <laughs> if you can help it, I'm going to get this this roach here. I'm going to get a good and clear view. Now get ready for awesome. Are you ready? Don't blink. Don't blink. You blink, you miss it. Walk the bongs. A petropultra piece. Golden blue leg of baboon. Tarantula. Absolutely amazing. Very loved tarantula, in my opinion. And where did we get this one from? Jeepers. Creepers. Where'd you get those? Jeepers. If you guys haven't, go check out his channel. Jeepers, creepers, tarantulas. Alright, here's in the phone of Pelma Chow Cody's. We got this one from. Help friction. If y'all see, this is from a long time of not removing molts. We have one molt here. And we have one molt here. So two molts. And that could happen anywhere from, from not too much. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, these don't take a lot of water because they are. Uh, a Phonopelma species just don't take a lot of water. So here's one mold. You can see it went from this size to this size. This can actually come out of here by now. I think it probably sticks that one, but I'll give him another another little while to, to grow. I'm not in a hurry. Yeah, it's not really very hungry. It is alive though. I just blew on it. So that damaged roach can stay in there for a little bit and it'll be fine. Are all of them done over there? Yep. Okay, just sorry for the blurriness that you guys see. Just bear with me a minute. Here is a O. Oh, I forget what the Awkward proper name piece. is. No. No, not an O. That, that's the O. Oh, Shadota or something. I call this one Odie One Shadoti because I can't pronounce that name. So this one's Odie One Shadoti or Shadota. Let's see if we can tease this thing out somewhere. Let me put it in the wrong name for you to see. Let's see right here. I'll just watch for a moment. A damaged roach, so it'll be fine. We'll leave this here. I'm leaving that malt in there because I'll be trying to fix that later. Here is a G poultry piece. It's a Grandma Stola poultry piece. And that's what's given to Mikey. Yep. This is a birthday present, right? No, this is just a gift for Mikey. Oh, yeah, because of a freebie thing. No. No, no water, no water, no water on this one. This this is a desert species and it can't have a lot of water. The substrate's already wet. And the way it's acting is in pre molt. This is a uh, hair kicking spider, as you can see the irritating hairs on the back. 
They don't kick very much, so. Alright, so that's that one. Um, that did come out of pre to mm -hmm. Mikey in one of our orders, though, I remember. Well, I filmed it. I filmed it. No, I. Yeah, it's on film and uh, unboxing that I did. Yeah, but they picked it out for Mikey. Yeah, specifically. They said it in on the letter, this one's for Mikey. And that was from Help Friction Tarantulas. If I'm not mistaken. Mm hmm So this one is a what? Looks like a baboon species of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's gone. We missed that, and that's what it does. We have some more of these to feed though. Ceratogris Marcelli. It's number one. Bear with me, people. There's a Ceratogris Marcelli. This is the unicorn horn tarantula, the one that um, grew the straight horn off the back. They don't like a lot of water either. I know that looks like a lot, but. It'll absorb, it'll dry up. Let me see if we can get him to walk around here. Yeah. Ceratogris marshalli. The unicorn horn tarantula is starting to get. I think it's starting to get a little horn. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bitty tiny horn on the back. Oh, you see that? Isn't he or she lovely? Okay, next. <coughs> Here's a Saratogris Marcella. And if you guys could go and check out Peter Webster. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you'll probably find his comments in, uh, you'll probably find him in my comments below because he's a big supporter of my channel and I appreciate that Peter if you're watching we have nothing but love for you brother Peter Webster is a very good man and uh, he does a lot of awesome comic, comical videos he keeps me laughing and uh I love this channel. My whole family does. Oh, did y'all see that? Boom shakalaka. Put a little bit of water around. These will be getting transferred shortly. One more mulch. And they will be going into the bigger containers. If you guys could this? also go and check out... Oh yeah, the last Sopetra. Help friction and tell their daughter just had a birthday this week. And if you can go wish her a happy Look birthday, at this. happy birthday! Look at this. I hate it when they do that. This is a Hepatra Ultra Piece, a golden blue leg baboon number two. We'll get y'all better view. Don't worry. Look at that, y'all can actually see the adult colors coming in the golden and blue. Beautiful, right? After this mill, we'll get another molt on this sucker. You ready? Oh. Gotta love that. This is also a baboon species. Like the, uh... Rear horn, thank you guys so much for watching. We wish you all peace, love, happiness, and all that good shit. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, share my videos, write comments in the comment section below. I will read them and get back to as many of you as possible. Edward Tindall and Sarah Tindall and Aaron Pauling Roaches Tindall out.